Okay, calculus 3 tutorial, we will be linearizing the multivariable function fxy is equal to 1 plus x times natural log of xy minus 5 at the point 2 comma 3. So to linearize this function, all we have to do is to find the equation of the tangent plane, which is very similar to back in calc 1, we have the equation of the tangent line, right? So let me just kind of make this clear real quick. So this right here is the calc 1 stuff. Back in Calc 1, we have the tangent line equation. And the reason that we just have a line back in Calc 1 is when we have a function like a curve right here, something tangent to it is just going to be a line. You will see that linearizing this thing, we are going to get a plane. Linearize, linear means x and y to the first power. But in the 3D world, that will be a plane. Anyway though, to get the tangent line at this point, let's say, x naught, y naught, all we have to do is this, y minus y naught is equal to the slope, which is going to be the derivative. So f prime at this value, and then we multiply by x minus x naught. So it's just like y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, like the algebra equation. And this right here gives you the tangent line and if you want to get the linearization, linearization, linearization of the function at this point, all we have to do is move this to the other side and then solve it. So you will just get y equals positive y1, so y naught, plus f prime of x naught, x minus x naught. And uh, of course, this right here is the value of the function at x naught. So with that in mind, let me write down what we are going to do for the calculus 3 version. Here is the equation for the tangent plane. So instead of y, we will have z. So we have z. We start with z and then minus z zero and then you see right here we have the derivative but back in calc 1 it was only differentiating this with respect to x but in calc 3 not only we have the x but we also have the y so just do the partial derivative so this right here will be equal to f subscript x for the partial derivative with respect to x and then at this point but i will just write it down in general x naught y naught times x minus x naught and then we are going to add f with subscript f for the partial derivative of the function at x naught y naught times x, sorry, times y minus y naught. Yeah, just like that. And then guess what? If you want to find the linearization of this, just move this to the other side. So I will just put this down. Linearization. Put this to the other side. And uh, right here, you see they are pretty much the same thing, huh? But instead of the y, we are going to write L of x for linearization. So we will be doing the same here. Putting this to the other side, I'm going to write the z as L of xy. So the linearization for this multivariable function. And then we are going to get z naught. And then you pretty much just copy down the rest so let me erase this and then let's just write this down okay and then here's a small thing this thing right here is precise the the value of the function at x zero y well x not y not just like what we did earlier so this is what we are going to be looking for right and now let's just go ahead and get all the ingredients namely the partial derivatives so actually let's do this one first Let's figure out what's f of x naught y naught. So this is the x naught y naught here. And sometimes they may write little a, little b, just notations, doesn't really matter. All right, so let's figure that out. So f is just the original of two comma three. So we have the two and three. So this means we are going to get one plus x is two times ln of 2 times 3 and then minus 5 
And then this is just 6 minus 5 is 1, L and 1 is 0. So all in all, it's just 1 plus 0, which is just 1. So that right there will take care of the Z naught. And let me just again detail that this is just F of X naught, Y naught. All right, now we are going to just do the derivatives. So I will be looking at this, and let's figure out F with little x. So that is going to be the partial with respect to x. So treating x as the variable, but unfortunately here, well, of course, that will give us 0, doesn't matter. Here we have x on the outside and also x on the inside, so we have to use the product rule. So I will keep the first function, which is x, times the derivative of the second. Derivative of ln of something, you just put on 1 over. Right? 1 over the inside. And I use the chain rule, the derivative of this with respect to x. x is the variable, differentiating x to the first power, we get 1. So we will have y, so multiply by y. And then we are going to add, well, the derivative that is just 0, so it doesn't matter. The second function, which is this, so ln of x y minus 5 times the derivative of the first, which will give us 1. So that's what we have. And uh, let's just go ahead and plug in 2, 3 into this expression. So f x 2, 3. So x and y on the top, so 2 times 3 on the top, over x, y, so again, 2 times 3, and then minus 5 plus ln of x, y minus 5 times 1. So 6 minus 5, 1, and then ln 1 is 0. Good. And then that's 6 over 1. So all in all, we get 6, just like that. Now, let's go ahead and do this with respect to y. So f with a subscript y. So that will give us 0. Now, here we go. We only have y inside, yeah? So we don't need to use the product rule. So all we have to do is let's write down the constant multiple x because x is like a constant in the y world. Just write that down. And then differentiating this guy, ln of something, is going to give us 1 over the inside. And we still have to use the chain rule. We will take the derivative of this with respect to y. This is y to the first power, so the derivative of that is 1. So we have to multiply by x. So there's one more x from here, right? One more x from here. And now let's go ahead and just plug in 2 and 3 into the x, y. Notice that we have x times x on the top, so that will be 2 times 2 on the top. And then x is 2, y is 3, and then minus 5. All in all, work that out, we get 4. And now we can just throw in everything into our formula. L of x, y is equal to this, which is just going to be that, that's 1. And then we add this is 6. And then we multiply by x minus x naught, which is 2. And then we add this, which is 4. And then we multiply that by y minus y naught, which is 3. And that's pretty much it. And at the end, of course, we can do some algebra. Just go ahead and multiply. This is 6x minus 12, 4y minus 12. So L of xy equals 6x plus 4y minus 12 minus 12 is minus 24 and then plus 1. So we have minus 23. And there we have it.